place. Tell everybody. Everybody what you want. Look at that. It's very interesting, there was a guy who was a major disciple of Kozlowski. I said, is it true that Kozlowski, after he retired, said, there's only one reason that I will come out of retirement, and that's if I could be a T-boy on a Ken Loach film. Is that true? And he said, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's very true. I said, so, I mean, I'm interested. Kudlowski's a pretty full-on, heavy-duty, brilliant filmmaker. What, what was it with his adoring of Ken? And he said it was very simple. He said Ken Loach was funny. The same situation can be tragic and funny at the same time. Um, and, and the humour is absolutely integral to, to living together in the way we do. And terms like social realist are really obstructive because, again, it, it, people think, oh, I'm going to see a social realist film, so everybody's going to be downtrodden and speak in an accent I can't understand, and they're going to be bored to tears. So that is therefore what they, they then see, and they don't see what actually is in front of them, which is very funny, lively people maybe caught in some tragic dilemma or comic dilemma. <laughs> There isn't enough a lot, lot, lot of films out there which actually tell the story of a bus driver or a, a labourer. You know, who wants to make a film like that? Well, Ken does because they're important and they reflect the times. That's why it's that's why it's important. That's why it's essential to have someone like Ken, Lo Ken Loach because he he tells you about the times that you're living in, and and more importantly, twenty years from now, thirty years from now, forty years from now. People will be looking at that stuff going, well, that was Britain in the 90s. I'm in the area doing drains, and I wonder if you'd like yours cleaned out. There's nothing wrong with my mains. I didn't know who was going to, who was going to answer the door. You know, Ken had got all these people in, and I didn't know who... And a lot of that was off the cuff. Not your mains, drains. No, I'd have, I'd have had them checked, there's nothing wrong with them. Drains! D-R-I, drains! I keep telling you there's nothing wrong with my mains. Not all. your bloody mains, your drains! There's no need for that language. Oh, eh? Hey. Anyway, no, I'm not bothered. I don't need that language at all. So you don't know your mains doing? No. When we were doing um, Riff Raff, I, I, I played this builder and I, and I break into these big million pound flats. No, he said, in this scene, he said, I want you to get in through the window, go round there, he said, go round there. He said, be nosy, you know, you've never been in a millionaire's flat before. I, I want to go to the toilet, he said, I'm in my working gear. And I, and I go into the bathroom, use the toilet, and I'm thinking, I'll have a bloody bath while I'm here. So I'm having a bath and I'm in the bath in the nude. Another bathroom here, which I think you'll find very impressive. So I jumped up and grabbed a bloody bowl of that and covered me meat and two veg. They screamed and run that way because they didn't know I was in the bathroom. Everything seems to be working. And that's the first time I think my arse was seen on television. The first time of many, I might add. The qualities that are in his films transcend any of the criticism, simply because he actually likes human beings. He actually has a feel for their weaknesses and their strengths. And he has a kind of anger in him that a lot of people aren't treated better. I think Ken will go on directing until he drops. And all the other aspects of his life are, are there, but they're sort of not in vivid colour like his filmmaking. Maybe if we tell the truth about the past, maybe we tell the truth about the present. We made the film together. It's, um, it's certainly not for me, it's for, for all of us. Uh, merci à Khan, merci à tout, merci. Gets, he gets all the best out of it. I don't know how he does it. Get on this side. Oh, let me fucking take Jesus! Hold that bleeding thing!